Why did you say that name? I'm the original Batman. Actually, I'm kind of the original, original Batman. That's nice, I guess. I'm Desert Batman. Why do you have a sword? Check out my cool new belt. More concerned about the flamethrower. Har ha 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 har. I'm Pirate Batman. Har ha ha har. This is getting kind of ridiculous. I suppose that one sort of makes sense. Let's rage! Okay, this is starting to get out of hand. What is going on here? Okay, I spoke too soon. Oh, hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. My name's Jack, and today we are updating our LEGO Batman minifigure collection. Uh, last year, about a year ago, we did this video, and there were 23 minifigs in total. This year, just one year later, there's 43 minifigs that we have right now. Well, 43 when you include all these guys. Um, so LEGO has been hard at work just adding tons of new guys. A lot of them are from the LEGO Batman movie, but a lot of them are from just within the Batman universe of sets that they're releasing uh, throughout the regular year. So. Um, we're going to go through the collection chronologically, uh, the order from when they were released, how much money they're worth, uh, the sets they came out in, all that stuff. And um, we're going to start off, I think, with the very first guy right here. And by the first guy, I really mean the first two guys, because these are both releases from 2006, the very first year Batman came out. But if we're going by set numbers, then the very first Batman released within a set was the gray suit. Here you can see him with his original helmet, and the muscle design on his chest is almost exactly the same as what you're seeing from the Lego Batman movie guys that are coming out right now in 2017. The sets he appeared in were the Batman Dragster Catwoman Pursuit, the Batboat Hunt for Killer Croc and Batwing the Joker's Aerial Assault. So he is relatively common. There's a lot of used versions of this guy for sale online, but if you want to get him brand new, he is 20 bucks. Now the next original Batman also released pretty much at the exact same time, came out in a total of five different sets. The first one being the Batmobile Two Faces Escape and probably his next most notable set he came out in was the original Arkham Asylum set. You can see that he looks really similar to uh, even Batmans that are coming out right now in 2017. You can see the detailing is only slightly different, but done in reflective gold, which kind of makes it pretty special. Early on, LEGO decided that this was a pretty classic look for Batman, and they've decided to keep a very similar rendition of this guy around. He is $11 brand new, but there's a ton of used versions of him as well. But we're moving on to the next year, 2007, where we get gray Batman again, but now he's got blue accents. Also, you can see the symbol on the chest has gotten a bit wider, as well as the utility belt around his waist. His sets were the Batcopter, the Chase for the Scarecrow, and the Bat Tank, the Riddler, and Bane's Hideout. Only two set releases from way long ago make him $30 brand new. But let's jump up to 2008. This is the same year the Dark Knight came out. So we have a darker gray Batman with detailing on the body that is supposed to reflect that of the Dark Knight from the movie. So the chest printing is totally different to match up that suit, as well as the uh, printing for the belt which is also slightly reflective. He came out in three sets, only one of which really pertains to the actual Dark Knight movie. The minifig is around $12, and those four guys that I just showed you right here are the only four Batman minifigures released within the Batman theme. Everything else that came out was either the DC Comics superheroes theme, the Lego Batman movie theme, or a special Comic-Con release like our very next figure. This is the most expensive guy in the collection by a long shot. This is the 2011 San Diego or New York Comic-Con Batman minifig. You can see uh, based on the card that he's attached to that this guy came from the New York Comic-Con, though both of the minifigures are exactly the same. The detailing of the body itself actually looks kind of just like an updated version of the Dark Knight from the uh, Dark Knight movie. It's a bit more clean than the previous version. And this is the first Batman minifigure to have any printing on his back. On eBay, he was selling for anywhere between $300 and $400 in the past, maybe a year ago. His buy it now price is currently at $700 for the only vendor that is currently selling him. And minifigure price guide puts him at around $500, a little bit more. Needless to say, he's the most expensive Batman in the collection. Let's jump up to 2012. This is the first Batman to be released within the DC superheroes theme. He's pretty similar to one of the Batmans we saw before with the light gray and blue accents, though now he has a wing mold 
hold that's actually functioning as a jetpack in the back and the detailing on his chest and for the belt looks a little bit more like classic Batman. Also, he has some standard back printing and the chest print has a little extra line to show some lat muscles on the sides. That particular detail lasts for pretty much the rest of all the Batman minifigs that just have this standard chest print. He has dual molded faces and here is basically the next version of him. The only difference is that he now has a blue cape, but wait a second, you might've noticed the difference. Also, the helmet has finally changed. The cowl. Here is a close-up of the old and new cowls side by side. The back curves in a bit and the shape of the points on the top is very, very different. Altogether, the mask is a bit more expressive and uh, Lego is still producing this one a lot. Here are the sets this Batman came out in and his uh, price. But as we move down in the year 2012, this is the most common Batman minifigure, I think, around. This is the uh, figure that's extremely extremely similar to one of the original Batman minifigs, only his uh, highlighted printing is not reflective and the belt is a little bit simpler. He appeared in six sets between the years 2012 and 2014, which makes him still very common and only about $4. Here is the same minifig again, now just with the wing piece molded in black. He came out in the Arkham Asylum breakout set. And because he appears, or well, this mold on his back appears only this one time in a very popular and expensive set, it makes the minifigure worth roughly $25 on Bricklink. Now finishing off the year 2012, we have the Electro Suit Batman. He was the first Batman to have any printing on the mask or the sides of the arms, or heck, even the legs and the toes. He still is one of the most unique Batman figs out there. And in case you're wondering where he came from, he didn't actually come from a set. He came out in the one of the DC Universe uh, visual dictionary books. He's around $9. And actually, if you push the helmet all the way down the cowl, all the way down, it kind of doesn't match up with the printing on the face. That's what happens when you don't put a cape on Batman. Interesting thing to discover. And guess what? It's 2013 now. This is Arctic Batman. He's almost all white. This is the ridiculous set he came out in, and you can probably tell the difference differences with this guy. The belt is actually a slightly different print, but everything else is pretty much standard, just gray and white. He's $10. And here's the only other Batman fig that came out for 2013, and you might think he looks a little bit familiar. And being perfectly honest, this guy actually kind of disappoints me a little bit because the printing is exactly the same as the exclusive 2011 San Diego or New York Comic Con Batman fig. Was this lazy on LEGO's part? Yes, but honestly, they've done it other times, and I wouldn't put it past them if they tried this again for other exclusive figs. Here's the set he came out in, his price, and here is now 2014. Five figs were released this year and actually this is a San Diego Comic-Con fig that will probably never get repeated in any other set. We have Batman Zur NR. Everything about this figure is unique both in print style and coloration. Most agree that he is the cooler one of the Comic-Con special releases for Batman and he's also the cheaper one but that doesn't make him cheap. He's still crazy expensive. Also a Comic-Con release for the same year was this guy. The coloration on his body is supposed to mimic the Batman from the 1960s classic TV series, but really the only difference is that his blue is a little bit lighter blue than the 2012 Batman I showed you earlier. He was also released in this junior set, which makes him relatively cheap, but let's juxtapose that with one of the more expensive Batmans out there. This is the Dark Knight Batman exclusive Exclusive to the Tumblr set, one of the only Ultimate Collector series sets to ever come out outside of the Star Wars franchise. He is the darkest of the Batmans, meaning he's all black and the printing on him is almost all really dark. He's got a couple of slightly different disgruntled expressions and he's currently listed at 25 bucks. This next Batman is Grey Hands Batman, even though there's a couple of Batmans now that have grey hands. I think the most distinctive feature about him is actually the different shape belt. Really no other Batman utility belt looks anything like this before or after. His single set was the Batman Riddler Chase set, and he's about six bucks. Now this is a pretty unique Batman, Scuba Batman. Actually, there's a second one now. But this is the more sort of a realistic one. He's all dark blue. Great printing to show his scuba suit, and he's even got a scuba mask print, as well as a breathing apparatus. He originally came with a harpoon gun, and his set was Batman the Penguin Face-Off. 
See, we just burned through 2014, and 2015 brings us seven new Batmans, starting off with the Lego Batman movie fig. Because that 2012 Batman was just so darn common, I think Lego figured they would imitate this guy for the movie because he's probably the most recognizable, but the only thing they really changed were the expressions for his face. He's pretty goofy and wacky, well, the character was. The set he was released in was Batman and Super Angry Kitty Attack. He's super cheap, and here is our next fig, Bat-Zaro. The Bizarro universe made it to Batman in a 2005 comic, so this is appropriately a pretty wacky fig. His belt is upside down, his bat symbol is upside down, his body is kind of a light purple, not quite pink, and to top the whole thing off, he's got a pretty nasty zombie-like face. He was released with the Justice League vs. Bizarro League DVD, and at the moment he sells for around $10, chewed up cape and all. Now the next three figs are pretty much all the same fig. Here is, I guess, what is the most standard version of the Batman figure. He's got a couple of expressions. You'll notice that he is tan now. He came out in four sets and a book, which makes him the cheapest of all the Batman figs, coming in at under $3. And there's actually something else that you might have noticed. This is the third kind of Batman cowl you can get. They call it cowl type three, but these are the three different cowls over the years. In the latest one, they removed the bottom part for the jaw. It also is a little bit sleeker and smoother with smaller ears, and on a personal note, I think I like Cowl Type 2 the best. Anyways, here's a slightly alternate version of the other figure. He's got dual molded legs for the first time, because he was released in a single set that makes him $5. The third, well, repeated sort of mini fig was just released with the scuba suit Batman face. He was released in the Black Manta Deep Sea Strike set, and he's also super, super cheap. So with this next Batman, let's go to space. This is Space Batman. He was in the Green Lantern versus Sinestro set, but just looks awesome. The colors are actually somewhat inverted from Arctic Batman with a white body, but I think the coolest portions about him are obviously the wing pieces. They can either be folded in or extended out like this. And his type three cowl is molded in silver, which is really sweet. He's got some awesome expressions. One of the coolest Batman figs for sure. And this is actually where we ended the last episode. That was 23. Batmans, and we didn't quite have enough time to get the Dimensions Batman, which finishes off the year for 2015, and he's actually sort of the fourth of those three repeated figures. He doesn't have a tan face anymore, and he also went back to Cowl Type 2. Also, I forgot to mention those other Batmans had soft cloth capes for the first time. This guy doesn't have one. And with that, we finished off 2015. 2016 also had seven Batman releases, but they're way more diverse. Every single one of these guys is really, really different. This first minifig was released for the Batman vs. Superman movie, both in the sets Kryptonite Hero Interception and Heroes of Justice Sky High Battle. He's got a pretty nice sort of subtle kind of chain mail-ish printing on the chest. He's got that very wide bat symbol, dual molded legs, and a couple of different expressions. He's about four bucks, but the second minifigure released from this, well, movie line of sets is the way cooler, way better one. He's simply referred to as the armored Batman, but you might recognize him as the armor that is supposed to be for fighting Superman. The body print is awesome. It's so good that I almost hate to cover it up, but the armor mold is really, really good too. The Type 2 cowl is also molded in gunmetal. Some of his uh, weapons are on his back, and even his cape is gray. Also, you see this picture with the glowing eyes? Yes, they did that with this guy. The minifigure has a glow-in-the-dark head with the printing printed around for the face, and it makes for this awesome effect right here. If this isn't an awesome minifig, I really don't know what is. And fortunately, because his set was very cheap, he is also a cheap minifig, costing about three fifty. Now, the next uh, Batman minifig coming up is pretty much the opposite in terms of cool. Technically, he's referred to as Short Legs Batman, but really, he's the first of the Mighty Micro Batmans. They're supposed to have wacky expressions, but this guy actually isn't as wacky as our Lego Batman movie fig. He is actually the cheapest of the Batman minifigures, not the other guy, coming in at just about $2. Now, the next one is probably my favorite. We've got our classic TV series Batman, or the Adam West Batman. 2014 had the original version of what should have been the classic TV series Batman. Batman, but this guy is hyper accurate. He came out in that classic TV series Batcave set, which was so awesome. The printing here is incredible. 
incredibly good. He's got dual molded legs. You can see the uh, muscle uh, printing underneath isn't there because Adam West was not by any means a particularly fit guy. And one of the nicest touches is definitely that printing on his cowl. At the moment, this minifig is $30, but his price is probably going to go way up when this set retires. Here's another very unique Batman. He's called Buccaneer Batman. A lot of people just call him Pirate Batman. Not exactly sure how or why the detailing came about. I know this is based on some detailing from a uh, possibly a comic book. I just don't know about it. This was the exclusive minifigure from the DC Comics superheroes character Encyclopedia. He's about 10 bucks. He comes also with a chain mace and a sword. I really like this guy a lot. And heck, even this year's sort of standard Batmans that came out in DC Comics superhero sets were pretty good. This is Gas Mask Batman, another very dark suited figure with these sort of lime green highlights. Really cool. His type three cowl allows space for him to wear a gas mask underneath it, which is pretty sweet. And let's see, the set he came out in was Batman Harvester of Fear. He's pretty recent still, but uh, around eight bucks on Bricklink. This wave of sets also gave way to the Batman Rescue from Ra's al Ghul. And here is Desert Suit Batman, really cool fig. He's got a samurai sword and also a Batarang in matching silver mold. The copper highlights in his desert suit is really good. And in my own personal opinion, I feel like this is the only appropriate time for Batman to actually have a tan face. All the other times it just felt a little bit out of place. He is only slightly cheaper than the last guy, but remember these prices aren't really stable yet. The sets are still kind of recent. Now moving on to figs for 2017. Now technically some of these guys came out a little bit before, but their official release date is all 2017. It's January 12th as of making this right now. And so far we've got 12 Batman minifigures and there are four others that we know of that will be released in the very near future. Future. Of course, this can only be from one thing, and that is the Lego Batman movie. So first, I'm going to tackle the figs that came from the official sets. Here are three Batmans. They're all pretty much exactly the same. It's the standard Lego Batman movie minifigure. They have just different expressions. So here's the first guy with his set of expressions. Also, he's got that new Batman utility belt piece, which looks awesome. And the torso print is also different because they decided to remove the belt from the torso, but it pretty much is the same thing as the 2012 Batman and also the other Lego Batman movie fig from the years before. Here's some expressions. Here's the other guy with some other expressions. And even the other guy with some other expressions. In one of the particular sets, the Batman Batcave, there were three alternate suits. They come with blank white minifigure heads because there are just suits that are technically not being worn within the universe of the set. But here is our second version of Scuba Batman. It looks less like a high-tech utility scuba suit like the original Scuba Batman and kind of more like a more leisurely fun one. The orange highlights I think are pretty good. They're okay. And he comes with a cool orange utility belt with the uh, orange face mask. The bat pack suit is probably my favorite from here. The sparkly sequin printing on the arms is a really cool touch. Also that pink bow tie print on the chest is great. And the uh, underlying gold for the cape looks really great. Also the cowl is gold. Lots of things to like about this figure. And the last extra suit is called Raging Bat, which is a play on words for Raging Bull. He comes with purple boxer gloves, dual molded legs to show the shorts, and what looks like a relatively standard torso piece, except you can see the uh, belt also looks like one of those heavyweight championship belts, sort of. But let me squeeze in this little Mighty Micros Batman real quick. He came out in the set Batman vs. Killer Moth. The detailing is supposed to reflect the classic TV series Batman. So he is in the lighter gray with the blue highlights and he's got a better expression, very angry. He's a super cheap minifig like the rest of the Mighty Micros and he's pretty funny to have. But let's check out the last five Batman figs and these all came from the Batman collectible minifigure series. I would go into some crazy wild descriptive detailing about these guys, but uh, they pretty much are totally just fun parody versions. We've got our glam metal Batman. He looks very much like the Gene Simmons Batman from Kiss or something. I particularly like that print on the cowl. Then there is Vacation Batman, which technically is the fourth type of mold for the Batman cowl when you think about it. It really is just the type two, but also has goggles molded around it. So as a technicality, yeah, that is the fourth kind of mold for the cowl, but it doesn't sort of count. Here is a lobster loving Batman. He comes with a brand new lobster piece, but I think anybody can really appreciate the smoking jacket that uh, the minifig comes with. Now we've got caveman Batman, pretty self-explanatory here. And our last guy is fairy Batman or fairy suit Batman, a pretty ridiculous looking fig, but I think it is worth pointing out that uh, in terms of uh, minifigures being decked out, 
there pretty much isn't any more detail they could have added to this guy. He's got the dual molded arms and legs printing on the arms and printing on the legs, sides of the legs, plus some special fairy wings and uh, everything. So yeah, here are all 12 of the figures that have been released in 2017 so far, and it is definitely worth mentioning because I know some people, depending on what part of the world you're in, I think are starting to get a couple of these figs, but the ones that are on their way within a matter of weeks, few of them, is Tartan Batman. Then a week and a half after that, we have this poly bag that will be uh, distributed on February 10th, which will include Clown Batman, or they're calling him Tears of a Batman, as well as Disco Batman coming pretty soon soon also is the Excalibur Batman. This guy looks really cool. He comes with an armor piece. The type two cowl is molded in silver, which looks really cool. And I just have this nagging feeling if I had waited to make this episode that by the time this guy comes out, there would already be pictures of new Batmans that are coming out. So we're pretty much at the end of the collection episode. For good measure, I just want to point out a few things that a few of you might think that we forgot. Here are the four Bruce Waynes that exist in Lego. These are their years their sets, and their prices. And I thought it might also be fun to check out every single different Batman cowl mold. Technically, there were only four different types of molds, but of course, including all the different colors, these are the 19 different Batman cowls. With the new minifigs I mentioned on the way before, we should be rounding over 20, but right now you're looking at 19. That is pretty crazy, and here are the 43 minifigs, including the Bruce Waynes. Right now, that would actually make 47. And when I try to put them into our custom Batman minifigure display case, it fills up incredibly quickly, and uh, we've got a lot left over. So this is definitely going to have to go through some redesign, and maybe I'll make an episode about that in uh, the near future, but I think we need some really large yellow base plates. So that is it for this episode, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed watching, and if you stayed through the whole video, uh, congratulations. Really do like me making these collection videos for you all and uh, let me know in the comment section below what collection you want to see next in the future. Trust me, Robin is coming up soon. Anyways, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time at Brick Vault.